Shalom. Like to say all praises due unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. My name is Karnawak. I'm from GMS Toronto. This is going to be a, a ongoing series. Um, I have another uh, channel, GMS Wisdom and Meekness. So if you don't see me on this channel, you probably will see me on GMS Yashar Allah Banyamian. And um, because um, the algorithms messed up, you know, E. He's, uh, he's uh, messing up, he's messing with the algorithm, but, um, you know, in the spirit, you know, this is going to be uploaded. Uh, today is, uh, uh, this is November the 23rd, or it's like the 22nd, 2022, the year of, uh, of turn up, you know, and uh, this is a uh, brief uh, history about Mateus da Costa and uh, I descend from this line um, and um, he has a lot of uh, a lot of history about this guy and his family and our people right because uh, you know we were migrating here like you know like our people were migrating here you know and um, because a lot of them are people were in Portugal and the Iberian Peninsula and stuff and um, people always been going back and forth tra you know like um, traversing with Gad but um, this is just gonna be a quick lesson where I'm gonna see where the spirit is gonna lead this is Mateus da Costa and early Canada says possibilities and probabilities no it says possibilities and probabilities right by a j b johnson park canada halifax all right so there's a lot of brothers out there who's out there in, in uh nova scotia so uh, you brothers out there you know because there's a lot of uh micmac or Judah over there, you know, um, you know, Halifax, North Preston, you know, Afroville, whatever. Um, you know, there's a lot of our people, man, who's who watch our videos. See, so you guys should be out there on the highways and byways, man. You know, so and hopefully, Lord's will that. Um, I, I have a lot of information about the Mi'kmaq as well. I'm gonna share in the. It, like in the description it says like Matthias da Costa was a interpreter of African descent who likely travelled <clears throat> extensively through the Atlantic world in the in the fifteenth and early sixteen hundreds. <clears throat> Um, as an interpreter, he he saw after by both the French and the Dutch to help in their trade with the Aboriginal people, right? Because I already said I have. If you see my videos about um, this fellow, um, the Prince Henry Saint Clair or the Saint Clair family right car people been coming back and forth and um you know because they're templars all right and so if you watch my videos before on uh, gms yasha allah banyamin all right um there's a lot of information i also have a odyssey account so you go on gms yasha allah banyamin all right and uh you could uh you could do your own homework, your research, right? As an interpreter, he was sought after his, after by both the French and Dutch to help their trading with Aboriginal people. The Costa likely spoke French, D 
Dutch Portuguese as a pidgin dialect uh, because you know he spoke many dialects because you know we are traders right we would always be going back and forth all you know from um, you know from the whole Western world you know through the Americas and through Asia as well so we were always we're trading and um, you know we're about our business right um, Aboriginal people in the early and early uh, like in the early contact the trading of the European it said replies on black interpreters right, which were not black were Hebrew Israelites all right, was more than a centuries a century old by the Costa time all right because you read about this guy he had family who came here all right I show you I show you Gasper so we always would be going back where we go to Greenland and you read about like uh, also um, you watch the series of the Vikings and stuff you know with the Vikings you know which which um, you know you know like those are the, a lot of them are the, the Danites who uh, migrate basically uh, because we you know we had a vast empire you know throughout Europe you know and um you know uh like um when you read about the dan or denmark which means the land of dan or denmark and it's a lot of stuff but i'm gonna see where the spirit leads all right but um when you read the revelation 7 you know when it goes into the 12 tribes it doesn't talk about dan you know like we're gonna learn we're gonna know about dan in the kingdom it says it says gasper corte real all right so which means court royal or royal court right or the costa right so that's that's his family was portuguese explorer who alongside his fought his father a joe Van Corte Real and brother Miguel and it's a participated in various explore explore it's like exploration voyages sponsored by this Portuguese crown right because we were in power all right because after the Spanish Inquisition a lot of our people went to Portugal as well all right and um you know that we like we got favor all right because there were a lot of our people and uh and they gave our people high positions right because we are navigators you know? uh you know so we you know like we we were a map you know like we were um you know like we're the ones who who basically laid out the footprint you know and uh we would go all over the world all right, so the voyages are said to have been some of the first to reach Newfoundland and possibly other parts of Canada. All right. So you could read about this man as well and his family. All right, cause I'm gonna show you this. See, this is Jake. All right, boots, everything, that's what I'm saying. They're not new under the sun. All right, this is the man. Um, oh, wow, see, like uh, 144, man. <laughs> it's amazing, man. See, everything is spiritual, man. And um, one second. Like yeah, Micmac. Or see, 
see the Grand Council of Mi'kmaq. All right, so our people were here, you know, pioneers, traders, all right, and they were um, Templars, all right. When you read about the Crusade or watch about, you learn about the Crusades, you know, the voyage to, like, to, you know, like back to Israel, like you know, back to Jerusalem. But the, um, like there was a war, all right, because you had those Arabs, all right, basically in the six something AD, whatever, basically like Muhammad, uh, he was funded, you know, by the Roman Catholic Church, you know, basically like to drive our people from the land, you know, and so on and so on. All right, so, you know, and this is their, like their, um, their language, you know, their symbols, all right? Like this is, like this is how they communicated. So our people always was able to dialogue and go back and forth. All right. Let me see how, see how this thing's gonna go, Slakia. Yeah. One second. One second, Casper. Uh, See, you read about this, you see? See about the, the like, you know, like, this is their flag, the Mi'kmaq flag. All right, and then you see the Mohawk. All right. And you, you know, like, this is their, uh, you know, they have an Elamite guy saying obey. All right, because um, this is a time of persecution, you know? And, um, you know, these heathen and stuff, like, they're gonna be, you know, these heathen and Esau, like they're gonna try to come against, you know, against the Israelites, you know? And, um, let me get that. It says Revelation um, 12. See where the spirit's gonna lead. Yeah, Revelation 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heaven and ye that dwell in the in the, in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Alright, and this is the you know, like this is the time when you know Esau is gonna be coming against us. You know, they're setting up these different agent provocateurs, all right. I just seen a thing with this whole uh, IUIC, they're marching in um, Brooklyn. I think some parts of, um, I think, Los Angeles and stuff, like, they're rallying. You're supposed to be out there going on the highways and byways. You're not supposed to be out, going out there, you know, rallying. You know, like, you're, this is a damn, aren't like, you know, like, you're going to fight against you know, like you're gonna uh, like fight against the power, you know, so like, let me get this quick. Because it's like, this is the most I show, like, you know, like, you know, like we just go out there on the highways and byways, you know, and we do our in classes. You're not gonna see us out there on the, you know, marching like some damn zombies, you know? It says, uh, Romans 12 and 1, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power of but of Yahweh, the power that that be are ordained of Yahweh. So, you know, the Mosai, who's the one who controls this thing, all right? But you can't, you can't fight against, the, against this establishment, all right? Because this establishment, you know, it was fun it was funded and created by the heavenly father so you, you can't fight against it all right you can't go out there but you're gonna be marching like it's an army like it's um you know what i mean like you're gonna go in up uh, like 10 or twenty thousand people marching down the street 
You guys should be out there on the highway. You guys aren't in the winter time. Like you guys don't even go out on the highways and byways. Like you guys are just doing in classes. Like you guys aren't even going on the highways and byways in the winter. Winter time, you're supposed to be out there. In season, out of season, man. So when it's cold, when it's hot, when there's rain, everything, man, you're supposed to be out there. Who's so therefore re resisting the power, resisting the ordinances of Yahweh? And they that resist shall receive themselves damnation. And that's what's going to be result. You know, these two thirds, you know, of these uh, of these different groups, these Israelite groups and stuff, who's doing this stuff, like they're going to be marking themselves. All right, because you know, some of you guys already got the juice, and the next thing, like you guys are going to ultimately be chipped for rulers are not a terror to to workers but to the devil wilt thou then not be afraid of the power you know do that which is good and thou shalt have praise the same right you know even you know you, you damn like you damn you damn fight the power israelites man <laughs> you know you know that song with flavor flavor fight the power you know you know it says uh for he is the minister of yahweh that it says the for he is the minister of yahweh to thee for good but if thou do that which is evil be afraid for the for he beareth not the sword in vain for he is the minister of Yahweh and revenge and a revenge to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil and that's what's gonna happen because the Lord's the Lord's already has the Lord like this is the most I show so the most I has is you know he has Esau which is the left hand of side on the most side all right and basically he's using Esau you know like to judge you know these you know the two-thirds and especially the two-thirds of these wicked israelites you know who's going out there marching down the street you know you're supposed to just be out there and just go out on the highways and byways you know uh, and you know and you know like and that's it you're not supposed to be marching and all that stuff it's like it's like what's that gonna do that's not gonna do sh nothing, man. One second. One second. There was something I was looking for, Slack, yeah. There's. Yeah, the damn. Uh, the video, Slack, yeah. Let me find the video, Slack, yeah. Slack, yeah. Yeah, If I could find it, one second. Yeah, here it is. should just be out there and have them you're not supposed to be them marching like it's a damn you know you know like you know like you're gonna you know like you guys you guys are gonna like 
try to take over the kingdom. You know, because this is Esau's kingdom, man. You know, like we're at the end of their kingdom, but come on, buddy. Fuck. <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> Psalm 17 and 13. Arise, O Lord, said, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. All right, because Esau, the wicked, is the heavenly father's sword, man. This is the most I show. So you, you can't go against the most high, man. For men which are thy hand, O Lord, of the men of the world which have their portion in their life. You see, you know, uh, Sir or Evelyn Rothschild or Bauer, who he died, he died like I think like two weeks ago. You know, the queen died, you know, September the 8th, you know, and they're living fat. You know, but you know that they're gonna have to pay. All right, because they have transgressed against the heavenly, you know, against, 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 against the heavenly Father's children, man. Whose belly thou filled, fill it with thy hid treasure. They are full of children and leave their rest of their substance unto their bed, and that's what it is. You see, when you read about the, um. Like um like Meyer Amchal Bauer, you know, and then he he you know he had five children and he pat and you know and they went throughout certain parts of Europe, you know, and they and they inherited a lot of wealth, you know, and, and some of them they changed up their names and stuff and they went all over the world, you know, from um from certain parts of Asia like uh you know the East Indian Company like Sri Lanka, you know. There are a lot of um, Rothschilds, you know, who's mixed up with those damn uh, Elamites down there. You know, America too. You know, the Rockefeller family, you know. And um, also for these uh, so-called, uh, or, or these Amalekites, you know, these small hats or Khazar. Because that's exactly what they are. They're converts. And that's... Um, let me let me continue with this. Yeah, this is their symbols of the Micmac. All right, because um, a lot of them, like they still try to preserve their um, uh, like their language and stuff, but um, you know, like this is the language that like. This is the language that Mateo da Costa, he was, uh, he was speaking with them, all right, because he understand the symbols and everything. And, um, it's very in depth, man. All right. So, um, Mi'kmaq. Let me just put this. This is our people, you know. They're mixing up, you know, with our people. And you know, our people were already trading. Our people were under the Catholicism, right? With the whole, um, you know, when you read about our our people, um, there's a lot of um, Six Nations, uh, Six Nation Reserve. You know, this is like a small portion of land, you know, like that they gave over here. See over here, like this is the reserve right here, Six Nation Reserve over in Brantford. It's right by Brantford, you know, but all this was our people's land, man. All right. I'm going to get that and then I'm going to close where the spirit permits. Because, um, one second. Because how did they get this blood? It's through blood. That's how this land was established. Was off of our blood of the Israelites, man. You know, so the Mi'kmaq, a lot of Mi'kmaq, you know, were living within this region as well.
Okay. And I'm gonna go back to Revelation uh, 12. See where the spirit's gonna lead Slakia. And this is it. Um Yeah, you could do your research about this man. Um, this is a good article. Matthias da Costa and early Canada possibilities and you know it's a possibilities and probabilities, right? So um, this is a good right, good reading. Um, you know, so this is the sixth nation of the Grand Grand River, right? And this is like this. This is, this is like this is the small, a small, you know, a small little piece, you know. And that's what they did, you know. You know, you, you devils have a lot of crimes to pay for, man. You have a lot of things, man. All right. How would this land get, you know, um, um, like how would this land establish, man? I'm gonna get Genesis forty nine. Then I'm gonna go back to uh, this precept in Revelation 12, Salakia. Cause Esau is a damn hypocrite, man. Genesis 49 and 19. Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome him at the last, right? So with the um, the RCMP, you know, and um, also for the. Um, with Canada or with America with the uh, American cavalry and stuff the murder and stuff what they did to our people man you know so the Heavenly Father he's gonna he's gonna raise up our people man all right because there's gonna be a, a, a like there's gonna be sedition there's gonna be civil war So this thing gonna get real. So um, so even those guys who's marching down the street, the IUIC, you know, like all uh, um these like uh what do you call Sakari and all these stuff, like you know that like uh, you know ultimately like ultimately like they're gonna be caught up, you know, and and they're gonna be put to death, right? Some of us are gonna be like put to death. We're gonna be persecuted as well, all right. You know, for his namesake. Revelation twelve and thirteen. And when the dragon saw, he was he cast unto, <coughs> he was cast unto the earth. He persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. Right. So the dragon referred to, you know, the like the Roman, the pagan Roman Empire, which is now. Like the reincarnated Roman Empire all over again, all right, and like and and, and the child, you know, was Yahushai, right? When you go into Matthew one, right, about the persecution of the Lord, and the woman went, were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, right? So in seventy A.D., a lot of our people came. You know, to Africa, you know, Carthage, you know, Algeria, you know, in that region, West, you know, West Africa, as well as East, you know, so it's a persecution, you know, we're fleeing from Roman persecution, when you, you know, 70 AD, when she was nourished for a time and a time, all right, and a half a time, right, so, you know, with that, you know, that through the slavery, you know, the trend on the slave trade, all right, which, you know, all these, you know, these Esau, these other nations, you know, like they benefited off of our people's downfall. And from the face, you know, and basically now, you know, basically from 16 something AD till 14, no, until 19, until like 1960 something, you know, basically, uh, with, um, you know, with the whole, uh, 
the so-called uh, uh, moon landing and stuff and basically like when the Lord you know he had uh, he had he had the elder um, uh, like he had the elder Abba Bivens who uh, basically he pioneered he pioneered the way because prior he was a young man all right and he was uh he would go to the commandment teacher or that he would go to commandment keepers you know over there in harlem all right you know but they would only go into the old testament all right so he branched off then he went to the new testament all right and uh you know and thus you have men like um you know elder you know or high priest yaikwab you know high priest um you know, um, Arya, you know, Arya, and then Arya, he brought down the 12 tribes, he, like, you know, like he had the revelation, you know, of the 12 tribe. So it's like, it's all spiritual, it's all flowing in the spirit. The serpent cast out of the mouth of water as a flood of the woman that he, he might cause her to be carry away the flood, the earth. The earth helped the woman and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And that's what's going to happen again. Alright. Because when you read about St. George the Dragon Slayer, you know, like this is referring to Revelation 12. Alright. And you, uh, you, you devils, man, you see? See, they try to whitewash this, but you know, the dragon's going to be slain. All right, so um, the whole power structure of of es Isa, you know, this is here in England. So the, you know, the Crusades, the Templars, you know. All right, and um, and the dragon was rough, you know, because you know exactly, you know, um, when you go into like. Uh, like the artifacts, the books, the history, you know, you know, like we're exposing a lot of, a lot of truth, right? Cause when you go to the library, there's a lot of stuff, man. Cause they say the best thing, you know, for, they say that, uh, basically, uh, that the way to hide something from a nigga is to put in a book. Cause our people don't read. A lot of our, you know, some of our people are literate, man. The dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which kept the commandments of the Mosai and have the testimony of Yahushai Mashiach. And that's what's going to happen. You know, there's so we're going to see the time of persecution. You know, we're on trial. See the Mi'max, like the trust, like the like i said the treaties on trial right and that's what's gonna happen right we're on we're spiritually gonna be on trial you know and this is uh one of the mitmac over there in nova scotia see levi ballpark nagagishi all right so with that uh hopefully this video was edifying hopefully uh if you don't see me on this channel, you're going to see me on GMS Yasha Allah Banyamin or GMS Wisdom and Meekness. All right. So with that, I'd like to say all praise is due unto Yahweh. Peace and blessings to the whole members of the elect. Shalom.